Okay, no more goofing around with setup or theory, it's time to start writing some real code. In the last section, we generated a new project using the React Native CLI. I'm now sitting inside of that project directory, the albums directory, and I'm going to open up my code editor inside of this folder. So I'll say Atom. Notice if you don't have Atom installed on your system, you might not be able to run that Atom command. On the left-hand nav, I'll see a bunch of different files and folders that were automatically generated for us by the React Native CLI. Remember, this was all created by the react init command. Notice that there are immediately two folders, one named Android and one named iOS. By default, React Native assumes that you will want to run your project on both Android and iOS, so it sets up tooling to run on either platform. Right underneath those two, you'll find a folder named Node Modules. This houses a bunch of JavaScript dependencies for our project. So if you open up that folder right now, you'll see dozens of different folders, each of which is a separate dependency that is being loaded into our code base. Underneath these folders, you'll see a couple different files that are used for configuration. In general, we won't be really touching any of these different files. Then a little bit lower, down here towards the bottom, you'll find the file that we really want to care about for right now, which is the index.js file. This is the root file, the starting point, the entry point of our application. So when we go to build our app, we are going to start adding some code inside of this index.js file. If we open up that file right now, you'll see just a little bit of code inside of it. Again, this is all pre-generated by the React Native CLI. Now, I'm a big believer of understanding every last line of code that gets written. So the first thing that we're going to do here is highlight this code and delete it. So we're going to rewrite everything inside this file from scratch so we really understand what is going into building a React Native application. This looks good. Let's continue from here in the next video.